Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you how you can connect your local N8N to your local Postgres database. This video was requested by some of you guys, so thank you for commenting and let's get straight to it. So the prerequisites for this are that you have your local Postgres installed, you install it using Brew so that you have Brew installed on your Mac PC. If you are using a Windows PC, I will put a guide down below on how you can actually install Postgres on Windows PC. So, assuming that you have run all these commands, I will start by running this command to start the service. So I have now started the service and let's start by creating our first database. To do that, we will use command create db and call it n8n demo when we have that we will connect to it using psql psql is basically postgres command line for mac and we do d n8n demo okay we are in we can create our table we will actually create table that will have these fields id user id content and the timestamp you can then use this guide and this table to connect it with the telegram bot that I showed you in other video. I will put this link down below so that you can so then you can combine these two and have your local and then connect to your local Postgres. So to comment to create the table will be this one. So we will be creating table with ID, serial primary key, that's of course correct. User ID will be text, that's okay content is text that's okay and it both cannot be null and created at is a timestamp that we get from current timestamp which is the current timestamp of the pc that it, this is running on so when you press enter it will give you back create table meaning this was created perfectly now we can test it by writing select all from notes always end your queries with the semicolon otherwise it will not return the result so as you can see the table is there but it has zero rows which is perfect now we can try connect this to our n8n but to do that we should create a new user because the user that we are connected as now is the current user using this PC and it does not require password from him. It has the setting set on trust, so meaning that it trusts this user. But we don't want that for the outside connections. So you can check the user that you are using right now using this command. Who am I? And it will return your user right here. Okay, so next thing we need to do is create a user in our database. To do that, for the sake of the demo, let's create a new user. Let's name this one NADEN user IT, for example, for the YouTube. Okay, it will return this, meaning that the role was successfully created. Now we will give it access to the database. Now we will get it access to the database using this command grant all privileges on database base and eight and demo to and eight and user it and semicolon okay i made the typo right there Okay, so now it was granted successfully. Next thing you need to do is give the, the <clears throat> give the user privileges to create tables on this schema and use the schema. This is for the future if you want to use it in NA, then maybe even to create tables. So this is the command you'd use. Grant usage create on schema public to NA then user IT. So if you don't uh, when creating table, if you don't specify the schema, it is always created in the public schema. So that we have. And the last thing we need to do, we need to grant it permissions on our, on all tables in the schema. So this is the command we will use. Grant, select, insert, update, delete on all tables in schema public to NA then user and small IT, right? and it was granted 
so that we have also what we can do if you create a table by a different user you can specify this privilege so that it gets all the privileges to tables created in the future okay now it's done okay perfect now what we need to do is change actually the config for this database so that the users from outside using tcp connection for example as if from naden always need to have a password so to do that you will need to use this command to get where is the file saved this command works on apple pcs so okay and the difference is if you have the silicon pc this will be here and if you don't have it this will not be here so on the intels this homebrew is not yet here so this will give us the response and we can use code and open it like this you actually don't need to use code you can use vim or cat for this but i have code installed so i will open with code and your config must look exactly like this i will share this config down below in the description and what you need to change is this user to your actual local user on this PC that you are using. So for example, for me, it is this. This can stay as trust because this is your user and all external connections will be done with a password. And this is the method saying that it will require password. Okay, we can close this. And now we can come back to our NA then. You can click on create new credential and you can fill it out the credential as it is here. So just to recap, the local, the host is localhost, port is 52432. This is the basic port of Postgres. Database name is what we named it. So NADEN demo, user, NADEN user, password secpass, or if you really want some secure password, you can put it there. So you fill this right here, you keep this ignore SSL issues insecure, keep this SSL disabled, this is all okay. And now that we have saved it, you will have this connect test was successful. We can do retry, as you can see, it all works. And we can try now to insert something into our table using NADEN. So I have created this simple workflow. This is here just so that we have it. So you can test it straight from here. We can specify ID two because I tested it once and we can change this also to two. We can do execute. As you can see, it was executed successfully. And if we come back here right now and we do select all from nodes, semicolon, enter, you can see two nodes in here and both of them were inserted using our NADEN. This is how you connect your local NADEN to your local Postgres. If you want to do everything locally, this is the way to do it. In the next video, I will show you how you can actually use your local NADEN to connect to Telegram because it always requires HTTPS, which you don't have on the local host. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you want to see next and thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.